The other big story today, agitated farmers have taken to the streets yet again. With the slogan of Dilli Chalo on their lips, about 10,000 farmers and supporters are expected to march from five different directions in the city, that's the national capital, towards the vast grounds of Ramlila Medan, where they will camp tonight and then march towards the parliament tomorrow. What's the aim? Well, the aim is to petition the president to call for a special session of parliament to discuss the aggregating crisis and passed two bills on farmer debts and guaranteed minimum support price for their crops. So those are the visuals uh, on your screen right now of also a lot of youth participation that has happened this time around in this uh, entire protest. The Kisan Long March is one of the trends online as well. And some 200 organizations have come together this time to, under the umbrella uh, of uh, uh, the Kisan Morcha to try and corner the government over bringing in these two bills as well. Now, what we are showing you, the map on your screen talks about the main route that these farmers will be taking from Bijwasan, 25 kilometers across to Ramlila Medan. So it will take them a full day. Uh, with all the thousands of farmers who have come in uh, to finally get to Ramdila Medan, they will camp there the night and tomorrow is when they march towards the parliament street. Now remember, uh, last time around there was a protest in the national capital, that was the 2nd of October. At least 20 people, including police personnel, had been, uh, had been injured in clashes. There was water cannons, there were uh, tear gas shelling that had uh, that took place at the UP Delhi gate uh, but this time around it's said to be much smoother these are the demands that the farmers have on your screen So those are the demands uh, that the farmers have on your screen right now. Uh, the past uh, several months and years, in fact, the past year or so has seen the farmer crisis uh, come to its head. It's seen a lot of farmer protest and anger also come to its head with several protests happening. But the big question, that's why the people today are asking is, will Delhi do another Mumbai? We saw those visuals from Mumbai earlier on in where in Maharashtra there was a massive protest which got all the farmers and got the attention that they so deserve at this point together. What we are also getting to hear this time around is uh, that uh, the Delhi police has also given permission to uh, the Thursday's uh, march and uh, uh, however there is a bit of doubt over what will really happen tomorrow when they try and march. Also like we were highlighting visuals on your screen of a lot of young people of youth joining in with the farmers this time to try and get the attention of the government over the farmer crisis. All right, uh, I'm told we can go across to Sukirti Devedi, my colleague there uh, with the latest. Sukirti, it's over to you. Uh, yes, Sona, so we are here right at the farmers' protest rally and they've already started gathering. We have with us uh, Mr. Yogendra Yadav from Saraj India, uh, the AIKSTC, which is organizing, which is uh, one of the leading organizations behind this entire protest. He's the one uh, who's organized this entire protest. Sir, tell us right now, what are the numbers that we are expecting today and from how many regions of India uh, these farmers are coming and what are the kind of arrangements? Today, farmers' marches will begin from at least five locations and we are standing at one of those locations, Bijwasan, where mainly farmers from uh, Odisha are here, from Bengal are here, farmers from South Haryana are about to join us at a point here nearby. So many of the Haryana farmers are here. Some from Rajasthan have also joined here. Maharashtra team is on the way. So today is the day for gathering and for marching to Ramlila Maidan. By this evening, all of us should be at Ramlila Maidan. 
that's where we should get an idea of the numbers. I think this is one of the largest farmers rally that Delhi has seen. Sir, um, also it's been mentioned that a lot of volunteers are coming together, which is something we don't usually see. We did see it from the march from Nasik to Mumbai, that the middle class came out uh, to volunteer to help these farmers. That is the kind of interaction we don't usually see. But today also in Delhi, what is the kind of support that you're getting from the regular citizens uh, from the middle class towards these farmers? In the very first stop that we have, we are being welcomed by a team of lawyers. Uh, we would be welcomed by traders. There is a forum called Delhi University for Farmers. Uh, they are welcoming us. So at different points, different marches are being welcomed by the citizen of Delhi. And one thing that we are doing is that we are distributing a letter of apology to those who are being disturbed by our march. Because we don't want to have a confrontation with people in cities. There is a village in the city uh, and we want to speak to that. We are distributing that letter saying, sorry, we don't want to disturb you. This is our problem and we want to cooperate with you. So, uh, as far as the administration is concerned, the last time there was a standoff that took place, tear gas shelling was carried out against the farmers. They were stopped at the Delhi UP borders. But this time, what is the kind of cooperation you've been getting uh, in terms of the permits that you've received from the Delhi police uh, and the security arrangements? As far as today is concerned, everything is clear. We have permits for everything. Delhi Police has cooperated, and I hope that cooperation continues till tomorrow as well. We are here not to disrupt the city. We are not here to create chaos. We are here to register our voice to our elected representative, our parliament, and to media, and to the people at large. And we want to do it peacefully, without any disruption. I can assure you, from our side, there would be no provocation whatsoever. Provocation is only in terms of ideas, nothing else. Sir, as far as the demands are concerned, how is this particular protest different from the last one that we saw in October in terms of the demands that you're asking for? And if you could describe a little uh, on the two bills that you are expecting the parliament to pass and the joint parliament session that you're expecting. We have taken several steps since last uh, November. When we met last November, we had uh, Kisan Sansa, the parliament, in which we proposed two bills. After that, those bills went through discussion consultations throughout the country. Several state conventions, district conventions were held. We consulted political parties. 21 political parties signed on that and said this is a, these are good proposals, which is very rare. Farmers' movement normally simply says Jindabad, Murdabad and disperse. We have given a bill. And these have been now placed before the parliament. They are before the Lok Sabha, proposed by Raju Shetty, and uh, in Rajya Sabha by uh, Ragesh. So they are now pending before parliament. So all that the government has to do is to simply say, OK, we pass it. We have reached that stage, and this is the last leg of this government. So we really want this parliament to pass it. We are saying, please hold a special session. Just focus on farmers' problem and started with these two bills. You can do other things as well, but if they say, okay, no, part, no special session, but we are going to pa pass these, we would still say thank you very much. We need the bills, we need the law, because these two pieces of law, the first is on guarantee of remunerative prices for the farmers. At the moment, farmers don't get many remunerative prices. The government declares what it calls an MSP, which is a minimum that the government thinks they should get. But in reality, they get much below that. The MSP for most of the cereals is around uh, uh, 2,000 rupees or so. And they are getting 500 below for that. MSP for most of the lentils, dals, is around 5,000 rupees or so. Farmers are getting 2,000 below the minimum. So the first law says, give them assured legal uh, guarantee that they would get remunerative prices, which is to say cost plus 50%. And the second bill says, free them from loan, from indebtedness. More than 50% of Indian farmers are indebted. We want them to be freed from indebtedness and a mechanism through which that indebtedness will not take place in future. These are the two bills. And we really think this would be landmark legislations for the future of Indian farmers. And we really look forward to this one big thing that the farmers of India can get from this government. Thank you, sir, for speaking to us. So, Sona, there we had Yogendra Yadav telling us that this time their focus is on these bills being passed in the parliament that have been formulated regarding uh, the farmers 
getting a relief from indebtedness and also demanding higher MSPs. Sonal. All right. Uh, thank you, Sukirti, for the latest uh, on that. We'll be watching out uh, as that rally progresses through the day with you.